Celtic have had a great start to their pre-season tour in the USA, beating both DC United and Manchester City. Alongside that, we have been very active in the transfer window, finding ways to improve our squad for the upcoming season. However, on the other side of Glasgow, things couldn't be any different. In today's video, we're going to listen to some of the Rangers fans who are in meltdown after their recent loss to League One side Birmingham City. And with a lack of transfer activity, the fans are reaching boiling point and it's glorious. Have a listen. But before we do get into the video, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Badly, badly needing them. Screaming out for, screaming out for players. Um, if any board member sat and watched that and doesn't think, do you know what, we need to get our finger at, then... They they want to walk right now because that's oh, it's just bad. It was just poor. First half especially was, was really really poor. Um, we made our uh, League One side look good. And and listen, we're playing we're playing in the Champions League in two weeks. Soak that and let that sink in for a minute. We made a League One team look like prime Barcelona. They knocked it about well, they've moved past, looked sharp, looked tidy, looked looked pacey. We looked poor, we looked like a pub team. We looked at, and do you know what? We looked like the, the, the League One team. They looked like they looked like us, or we, we should have been playing football. Just not good enough. I don't know whether Clement picked that side with the thought of I'm gonna I'm gonna almost like a protest team. To, to make it look as bad as they possibly could so as that they go, do you know what, we need to get a finger out and bring players in because it is not acceptable. It's not acceptable we're playing Champions League in two weeks, starting the league in two weeks, and we've got that squad. No, I don't care whether we've got 40 players or 80 players, but we need players in desperately and, and we need quality. We don't need just numbers. We need quality players in ASAP. And the problem is that you bring four or five players in that, that might be quality. We'll kick the ball. So what we're going to do, two training sessions, bump my Champions League qualifier. A training session, start them against Hearts. Because that's what we're going to need to do. That's how poor it is. That's, that's where we are at the moment. And that's if we manage to get players in. I don't know where you go for it. I don't know how you fix this. Um, I'm trying not to get too disheartened. But... You watch that, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a hard one to it's a hard one to get my head round. It really is. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for us to get carried away when we do have a good preseason, but and fair enough, that's just preseason tonight. But that game seemed to paint an accurate picture of where we're at as a club, and I'm not just one of on the park. It's off the park as well. And yeah, maybe it was a little bit better in the second half and started rotating players about. But we're a week and a half off starting the season. I, I don't think we've got a starting 11 out of there. We're just an utter shambles heading in this season. We've had so much talented players came and go over the last few seasons and they leave for nothing. <laughs> we're struggling to sell players at the minute uh, that we didn't want. But they're on stupid wages and <laughs> nobody wants to pay the wages for them. So not only is the squad looking like bare bones, but <laughs> we're struggling to get players in and we're probably going to be up to kick off <laughs> scraping players in for this Hearts game. And just to make things worse, we're about to start the season. <laughs> the tails have went between our legs, crawling to SFA to get Hamden because we've ordered bloody steal off Team U. <laughs> So, like, uh, look, I, I don't believe we're entitled to win anything. Uh, I, I, didn't, I don't feel I've got that sense of entitlement. And I, I don't want to touch on them much, but it was, it is expected that they'd be ahead of us based on the fact we was punted down these leagues said years of taking this money in for Europe and that. But that's no excuse for us going backwards. Two years ago, we were singing ABBA songs on the way to a Europa League final, just on the back of 55. We've went complete backwards. We've filled the cash in on players. We you like to so your Kent, Kamara. We let them all go at the, for nothing. We keep everyone too long. Our highest wage player, Goldson's apparently away for only 
half a million. Now that might not be true. And it's great I'll free up nearly 40 grand of wages, it seems, but two years left in his contract, highest paid player, and we're apparently away to sell him for half a million. Again, that figure could be accurate. <laughs> false, but we're sitting with no money, it seems. Yet, I've never seen our board be so commercial and trying to fleece the fans for every penny we've got. Bloody my jails, cons, with <laughs> the worst point system. It constantly wanting money out of us, and we're getting absolutely nothing in return just now. Yeah, I, it's pre season, but it's only a week and a half the season starts, and it doesn't look like we've got a first to live in, let alone a bench. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I think that, I think that, I think reality is starting to bite, reality is starting to hit with us all. I think that when you look at the fact that transfer windows been open for what? Nearly two months? No, month and a half, two months, give or take. Um, six weeks, eight weeks, with their other bits. That's a long time in football. That's a long time in the transfer market. That's a long time to A, sell players, and B, bring players in. And we've done bargain basement. We got it all done quickly. And we thought, do you know what? That's us kicking off. That's us um, good start. Uh, we're over the first hurdle. Um, let's get let's get drunken. Let's get see what we're going to bring in now. What's going to happen now? And then, then all of a sudden, it became, oh, we need to sell players before before we can buy players. Everybody kind of went like, oh, I don't know what do you mean. What do you mean that's and, and even and even some and I've said that a couple of times now. Even some of the the fan media went, no, oh, no, that's that's not really what it meant. Blah blah blah. And then Alex Ray came out and said that. And the kind of penny drop meant that that fucking is what he meant. That is exactly what he meant. He meant that we need to sell players. And when I know it's been muted before in the past, but when has that ever really been the reality? Obviously, we, we've had to we've had to um, bring players in. Obviously, you try and move players out to to generate funds and stuff like that. But we've always had the odd couple of million here or there to bring somebody in and idea about a business. And just that is not the case at all, as it stands at the minute. Celtic fans, what do you make of these Rangers fans who are a meltdown over the recent loss to Birmingham City and their overall transfer activity this summer? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. That does bring us to the end of today's video, guys. As always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.